Well, folks, we just had the Unlimited Amateur Derby final. I'm here with the winner at the 2017 Summer Spectacular. And that's Carol Anderson Ward, who rode Crafty with Cows and scored a 220. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Boy, it was fun out there. So this is your first big win here? Yeah, I um, was reserve champion at the Futurity in the Unlimited on a, what would it be, nephew of this horse? So I have the whole family at home, and they're all really cowy and, and good horses. So just fun getting to ride one and then the next. And and uh, this will take Crafty over 200000 in earnings. So you've obviously been quite successful with the horse at other shows. Yeah. Um, R.L. Chartier was third in the Futurity on him this last year. Um, Darren just tied for the win at the Pacific Coast um, Derby in June. And, um, yeah, he's just he's just a great little pony. So, so how did you feel in the go-rounds and coming into the event? Um, nervous. Really nervous. I mean, when you ride a good one, you just don't want to let them down. You know, so you're just trying so hard not to make a mistake. Um, when I was warming him up, I rode across here and RL was here. And he did the original training on him. And then he moved after Super Stakes to, back to California with us and with Darren. And when I rode across, I saw R.L. sitting there, and I said, oh, this is fun, R.L., and he's got a big smile on his face, and one of them that was sitting there said, oh, if you think this is fun, wait till you ride down to that herd. And there was something about that exchange that just made me relax, mm -hmm. and I just went down there to enjoy it, and, you know, it, it, it worked out. It was, just, it was just kind of a dream come true on a horse that I love. What can you remember about your run and the cows that you chose? Well, my first cut, I really wanted the, the white cow with the little smudge over its brand. And it just wanted to kind of hang up and, and stay inside the herd. I couldn't get it to the outside. And then one of our other favorites stepped up on the outside of the herd. And so I just walked up and cut that first, figuring it would be easier to find the white cow, you know, when we went back. And um, it just it just was one of those things that was meant to be. It was like it just stepped up and said, oh, no, take me. You know? So how did you feel when you saw that score? Um, well, thrilled, but it's also a score that can get beat, you know, so I, uh, I was nervous through the, you know, the whole rest of that set and then had another set to, you know, sweat it out through and um, I think we got lucky. Now, you've also had a hand in organizing the USA Australia challenges for the past couple of years. Tell us about that. Well, I think it's really important for us to, to make this an organization that's known worldwide. And um, I think the Aussies are, they're enthusiastic, they love their horses, it's a growing sport there. Um, I think their involvement, bringing them here, they learn a lot, we go there, we have some great relationships. Um, it's, it's, um, God, it's so much fun. <laughs> uh, and I, I'm hoping that, you know, this will continue and more and more people will get on board with it because I think it's a wonderful exchange. It's, it's, um, it's an international interaction that is hard to put together unless you have, you know, a vehicle for it. And this is a wonderful vehicle. And if people want to get involved, do they just get in touch with you? Um, I turned it over this year. Um, well, we voted in Alexis Steffes for the um, captain and she'll be putting together the next team. So um, she's the one to contact. Sounds good. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Carol. Thank you so much.